are called to her today is to explain why a state of general emergency has been called by the woolly military. As you may already know, a great catastrophe has befallen us that threatens to destroy our very woolly way of life. Bubsy Bobcat! <laughs> Story, but here's the abridged version, approved for public dispersal by their royal highnesses, Queens Polly and Esther. <laughs> Our magnificent queens devised an ingenious plan to steal all the war balls of Earth, but they were foiled by the fiendish Bugsy Bobcat. Now, our queens have developed an even more ingenious, in such a thing as possible, invasion plan. Unfortunately, they needed to get the furball out of the picture! <laughs> so a crack troop of woolly commandos were sent to work. There, they fought bravely and captured the hideous beast! <laughs> due in no small part to my brilliant tactical leadership. On the return trip, uh, due to a slight technical difficulty, the rocket carrying the beast crashed and the bobcat escaped! Woohoo! Now, if you see the bobcat, do not, I repeat, do not approach it! It can be extremely dangerous when frightened by the average woolly! <sighs> Report its whereabouts immediately to the nearest woolly soldier. We have stationed nose blowers and rock throwers throughout the area around the crash site. <sighs> We anticipate having recaptured the creature in two shakes of a dogfish's tail. Any questions? What does it want? What did we ever do to it? We have our best people in Woolly Intelligence working on that right now. So far, though, is that the creature's plan somehow revolves around collecting atoms and rockets. What it plans to do with these useless yet abundant natural resources, we have no idea. Our best has been stopped by that very question for decades. All they've come up with so far is a spacecraft capable of interstellar travel. Why would this interest the furry fiend? Oh, again, we have no idea. Now then, I advise all citizens. 